hey guys and uh, welcome to pixel cherry ninja's channel in this video we are going to look at the latest with the unlock pocket we have some uh, we have an announcement from analog where there are some new limited edition analog pockets coming as well as that if you just want the standard black and white analog pocket they are coming back in stock as well as well as that we have received a firmware update in fact i have updated my analog pocket i have also updated my dock and with the new firmware we get new screen filters so here it is this is the atari Lynx core running and as you can see we've got an original Lynx uh, filter there right a screen filter uh, as well as that we've got Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color and Neo Geo Pocket Color Plus and I think these are new as well Turbo Express and PC Engine LT so good uh, good on analog for providing those now if you were just to update the firmware on your analog pocket uh, you won't get the screen filter straight away you would still need to run pop day uh, and uh, let's show you guys how to get these on pop day right so if you're running pop data uh, i know you've got uh, pocket sync as well and you've got retro uh, retro driven's updater but most recently guys i have been pretty much exclusively been using pop data like for the past few months so i just keep using that but on pop data uh, if you uh, select, uh, right, where are we? Give me a second, guys. Let me bring that up on screen. Sorry, a little bit tired after work. So things are getting a little bit slower. So if you run pop data, uh, go to option five, which is pocket setup. Once you select pocket setup, what you want to do is head over to enable all display modes, which is then option six. So you want to go five and six. That will then enable all display modes for all cores. I've got to give a special shout out to Dave Warren Gillis over on my Discord because he reminded me of this. So I kind of came in, I said I press zero to do update all, and I kind of forgot that you need to update the filter separately. But the great thing is you can use any filter on any core, right? So let's take a little break for this and let's bring up a web page and actually have a look exactly what analog are saying, guys. So what do we what do we have here? Analog is saying. Introducing Analog Pocket Game Boy Colors Limited Editions, right? So remember with limited editions, once they sell out, that's it. They don't do another run, especially with the Analog Pocket. Uh, it says here, and homage to the iconic original Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Color Colors, highly limited quantities, $249.99 on sale September 12th, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, right? PDT and shipping uh september the 16th 8 a.m right okay so that's a quick turnaround time for shipping i've already clicked on that link and we've got it up here and that's the colors there guys if you want to get one now the limited edition ones sell for 249.99 but remember you're going to have to pay tax and delivery on top of that right so if if, if there's a particular game boy color color that you really really liked maybe one of these is up your street and you want to pick one up right or you could be just an individual that's you know what i I like black once i went black i never went back or you know white is my color right uh we've also got the normal ones coming back in stock right so let's just have a look at the next tab here here you go analog pocket regular editions back in stock september the 12th so the same day uh, i remember people saying previously criticizing analog saying you're releasing all these limited editions but i just want a standard black or white one so it looks like they've listened to feedback and at the same time they're releasing a limited edition they are also releasing the black and white one so it's nice to have the choices uh, so guys if uh, you haven't got an analog pocket i can't recommend the, uh, the device enough i think it's an excellent device it's my go-to handheld game i love the mister i love the analog pocket but uh, yeah i do play the analog pocket a lot more just because it's portable and it suits my lifestyle more been sitting in front of a tv right so here you go we've got this stuff coming out and then we've got the firmware update right the firmware update that i have actually run now right so um here we go let's uh, check it over here so um i'll leave a link to uh, the firmware in the description of the video as well as pop data if you want to get all the display filters going i remember like i said if you just run the firmware update that will give you that, that will mean those filters are accessible. You still need to run pop data in order to get those up and running. And a big shout out to Matt Panella, uh, Neil Morrison and Retro Driven Team Updater, as I like to call them. They do a fantastic job and they make, like, make life very, very easy for us, right? So let's kind of go over the notes here. So OS, added sleep wake for Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket Color. So excellent. So if you've got the adapters, you can put it to sleep and wakey wakey. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, added support for analog or audio video cartridge pin, added new display mode, vacuum fluorescent. Okay, so there's a new display mode. We'll, we'll, we'll put a game on after a completely different core and we'll go through the filters after at the end of the video once we have a look at these, right? So fixed irregularity with GB original display modes, fixed minor bug affecting GB and GBC safe stays. Okay, so nice, some nice black bug squashing there, right? 
For Game Boy Advance, we've got fixed sleep wake bug affecting some revisions of Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Super Mario Advance 4, and a few other games. Fixed memories save data backup not working on cartridge with special hardware. And then for the Sega Master System, we've got fixed memories not showing in list when using SMS adapter, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, fixed various game startup bugs. Remember people saying like Turf Masters had an issue? Hopefully that's resolved now. Let me know if you've got an adapter and uh, you're running Turf Masters and it's working for you now. But um, next point, fixed various uh, video rendering bugs. Fixed video alignment when docked at 720p. And then for Turbo Graphics 16 and PC Engine, fixed issues with composite palette. External Who card audio is now off by default. And for the Atari Lynx, fixed screen flipping bug, fixed rotation on launch bug, fixed bug affecting Alpine games, improved booting on some homebrew carts improved safe date support and on open fpga the part that i'm most interested in right because i'm cheap i don't have any adapters i just run game boy carts on there and i use open fpga and open fpga open fpga is fantastic right it's amazing having all our games collection in our pocket on our pocket uh added support for the following original display modes neo geo pocket neo geo pocket color turbo graphics 16 and atari links and then Core settings reset to default now properly erases browser history. And then final point there, APF fixed data slot sizes not being updated after a target command. Okay, 0192, open new file. I read that because it was just line, uh, one line. So let's now go over to, um, let's now go over to a different game and let's just kind of run through the screen filters. We'll run through the ones that were there previously and we'll, we'll also have a look at uh, some new ones, right? But exciting time, guys. Like, do let me know if, um, if these interest you, right? Is this something you are going to pick up? Right guys, let's now do some Neo Geo. Can you guess what game it is? You're not gonna guess what it is, but uh, but if you do, you know what, you, you can guess it now, right? So we are gonna do Samurai Showdown 2. And the reason I really like doing Samurai Showdown 2, I feel like running filters on this game in particular runs really, really good. So let's just kind of cycle through them. So we're starting with normal, and then here you go. We have got the CRT Trinitron, which has been around for a while. Okay, <laughs> that is just horrible. Grayscale LCD. And okay, what's that one there? Okay, reflective color LCD, uh, original Game Boy color LCD. Let's uh, go again. I really like these LCD ones on the Neo Geo. I think it just looks like you've got the best handheld game out there, right? Even obviously the Neo Geo is not a handheld system, right? Uh, backlit color LCD. Don't worry, we'll eventually get to the new ones as well. And we can see them in action. Original GBA LCD. Right, where are we? Okay, uh, GBA SP 101 and uh, Game Gear. Right, again, nice to see this stuff here. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit, of, a little bit of action on screen because that that is like where it really, really excels. I mean, look how nice that looks, right, with the filters. Hopefully, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Original Neo Geo Pocket. Again, not really a big fan of that one, but hey, you know what? Maybe that's for you. An original Neo Geo Pocket color. So you're making the big brother Samurai Showdown look like the little brother Samurai Showdown, right? <laughs> not quite, but hey, you get what I'm saying. Uh, what we got next, Neo Geo Pocket Color Plus. And now we should be going over to maybe, okay, Turbo Express. And then we've got uh, PC Engine LT. And finally, I think we've, we've got the original links here. Let me um, let me press start and just kind of start a game here a bit, right? And yeah, so again, it's, it's kind of looking good. Have we got anything after that? No, I don't think so. So again, uh, let, let's cycle through them quickly right now that we've got a bit of gameplay on screen. So display modes, let's go back to normal and let's just cycle through all of them, right? So here we go, while it's showing us the intro and hopefully they will go through quickly. But again, some of them don't look great. Some of them really, really do make it look good, especially on the handheld screen. I find like the Game Boy LCD ones, when playing this stuff in handheld mode, not docked, just really, really does look good. But that's just me. That's just the aesthetic I like. I like that style. I think it looks very, very unique. You may not know, you may not like it, but definitely let me know down below in the comments. But you know what? Well done, Analog Man, for giving us, especially the Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color in particular, and the Atari Lynx filter via OpenFPGA. Now remember guys, in order to get these running, you do need to, you can add them manually by going over to the GitHub, but you know what, take the easy way like I do, use, um, use pop data, right? Or use an updater just to add everything for you, right? Kind of 
it's gonna kind of end the video here sorry it's a little bit of a rough around the edges video you know what i've had a long day at work and when i saw the news of this come out i was like you know what i need to do a video anyway guys be absolutely absolutely awesome to one another uh, if you're not subscribed then a subscription and a like is super duper appreciated this is pixel cherry ninja out